Okay, this is just a review of our 6x12 um, camper, well, enclosed trailer camper conversion. Kind of want to show you guys what we did. Watched a lot of YouTube videos on what to do. Um, this is a aluminum 6x12. Um, this awning right here we built out of three quarter inch PVC and it's all just a tarp zip tied on top of there. Um, just use some different tees and elbows here to kind of make it work and then it's connected uh, to the trailer using these um, three quarter inch um, hooks right here that I just attached to the uh, the top roof board so that this part's permanently attached here and then this all just comes apart and folds away when we're done with it so let's get you a better view here you can see it works just as a sunshade we put our table underneath there with our cooler and grill and all that kind of stuff and then Take you inside. Inside, uh, we did run electric, so we got um, a fan going here, and we have for nighttime we have a projector and DVD player. We watched Monsters Inc. last night, I believe, with, with our son. Um, he's seven years old. He likes coming uh, w with us on camping trips. That's his little bed here we made, Minecraft. His army supplies. He likes to play army a lot. And we haven't insulated the ceiling yet. That's something that I want to do. Um, but we did make that screen door there in the back as well. Um, the wood, the, the two ends, this, this here and this here are... Uh, made out of wood and it's all pressure fitted in I'll show you how I put that in um, and these we put a lot of hooks in here too these little things here fit perfectly over the top of this molding that they put in and we got them at the at the dollar store for a buck a piece and they're pretty strong actually and we put a whole bunch of them in here just to kind of hang things on um, my wife she picked these baskets out to uh, hang things with our metal basket. We got them off Amazon um, and we kind of spaced them out on the wall and they're hooked on there so they don't have to worry about you know coming off and stuff when we're pulling the trailer. And she can put um, like our camp dishes and and seasonings and stuff in here that we like to take with us and, and keep back back in here so we know where everything's at. And then I built this um, little countertop here. We, we, we were going to put a sink in it originally but we decided against that, um, mostly because I'll show you here in a minute. We found some other things that worked good for us and, and, and what we wanted to do. But we did end up making some storage underneath to put things. And my wife sewed these um, curtains out of a piece of canvas drop cloth that we had. And we put bungee cords through it so that we can put things in there during transit. And it holds it back, like the grill. Um, I think there's some some little uh, totes back underneath there, coolers, things like that, that we, that we can carry. That beach towel hanging there. Uh, our, our bed down here, these are actually, it's a single, it's a single, um, two single mattresses. We put them together, make a full one for my wife and I. But these are pretty cool because when we're in transit, uh, we can fold these up into the shape of a couch and they go up against the wall. So those work out real nice. We found those on Amazon as well, as with a lot of stuff. Um, we bought these heavy-duty totes. I think we have six of them, six total. But we try to put everything in the tote, um, like the kitchen stuff, um, the hiking stuff, electronic stuff. And the, my boy's bed, is that's what's holding them up. They're pretty heavy-duty. So we put those under his bed, kind of hold him up a little bit. He likes to be up so he can see the projector at night. So that worked out pretty good. 
um, on the front door we put just one of those magnetic screen things that worked out really well for us um, it was a little long so we had to kind of sew it up there a little bit but it's it keeps the bugs out that's what we wanted um, here's that back screened in area again we um, I'll go outside and show you how we kind of put it together too but what I did was is I measured everything inside here um, so it would fit tight and then I made these wedges that go in up underneath uh, the, the spring here on the garage door and it, it pushes down and holds everything in place that way so I've got one over there as well uh, but then this um, in the middle is a magnetic screen as well but then you can step out here onto the porch and I use the trailer handles um, with a hook to kind of latch that in place too so it won't it's, it gives it extra support so it won't bump out so that worked out pretty well so they just come up and it latches everything down in place like that so that goes together and then we've got our chairs out here on the deck this is the the deck i'm standing on right now it's just the ramp door step down here let me give you a better look but we put a piece of outdoor carpet on it and i put these jacks underneath those rubber stoppers on the back to hold it back i got two of them and it says 2,000 pound capacity so uh we just or we sit out here and just kind of another place to stay and and hang uh hang out we did put some more of those things out here this canopy this is a 12 by 12 canopy that we just put over top of the back of the trailer to cover that decking area and again we put hooks on it to kind of utilize more space and my wife got that closet organizer there she put things in it that we might need like band-aids and bug sprays and um, I think there's some flashlights out there some small ones and some different cleaners that she uses and then it also works well to hang our towels on let them dry um, the reason we went and put the sink inside is my wife found these um, these are like collapsible like a sink we've been doing dishes there this is collapsible as well and fits underneath there so we can do dishes outside whenever we get done camp or you know eating in the evening or whatever then she can put them in there to dry and then I just got this large it's, a five, it's either five or six gallon I'm not sure but it holds uh, we just fill that up and um, use the water from that to fill up our our sink and stuff and then we dump it out at night and then that's our grill over here which which is just sitting underneath the table for now I put it underneath there to get it out of the way we were done with it but we usually just set it up on a picnic table and uh, grill out here in the evenings and I, I, I fixed it to where with those small those small green uh, propane bottles will will fit into it so we bring a few of those with us on our camping trip um, other than that we've had a couple people stop by while we were here wanting to check it out so just kind of wanted to do a little tutorial on it and show you guys what we've done so if you like it you can ask me some questions in the comments and or anything and I'd be glad to answer them for you.